Hi everybody, it's Rachel from Scrappy Happy here on YouTube and Scrappy Happy over on Instagram. Happy October, it's a new month. So I'm very excited to start thinking about new crafty projects. This month is going to have a bit of a twist from what I've been doing uh, typically because I'm gonna be working with two themes this month. So um, one of the themes will be a fall theme with using a pumpkin spice uh, doodle bub paper collection and the other theme is going to be Halloween just pulling stuff out of my stash and crafting away so I'm very excited to um, showcase and do a haul video of uh, the pumpkin spice doodle bug paper collection uh, for fall Christian and I uh, we were talking and saw it released and we got all excited about it because of the coffee cups and the scarecrows and um, all the different uh, things that are in here. So because uh, during the pandemic I've been very good at just using things from my stash, I thought I would splurge a little bit and buy the pumpkin spice collection. So unfortunately the two things that aren't available yet, which I also did order, were the two stamp sets that came with this collection. One has all these different animals and the other one has coffee cups and donuts and all those sort of fall treat type things. So I'll have to show those in a different video when they're available. So I picked this up yesterday and I told Christian that I would do a crafty haul video, which I don't normally do, so she could see my reaction with this pumpkin spice paper collection. So is everybody ready? Here we go. Woo. I don't even, I haven't even pulled it out of the bag. It was, it's been killing me. It sat in the bag because I really wanted to get a true, oh my goodness, um, a true snapshot of what's in here. So it's not even set up to be pulled out nicely. So wow. So here is the pumpkin spice collection. Um, so what I have decided to purchase is the 12 by 12 paper pack, double sided paper, the six by six paper pad as well as the odds and ends pumpkin spice ephemera pack. So um, let's start with the, t the 12 by 12. So my thinking with getting the paper collection um, in the 12 by 12 size and in the six by six size is that first of all, they're all gonna coordinate beautifully. And the second thing that you're gonna notice is that they're scaled differently. So this paper collection is perfect for DIY embellishments in addition to your cards and smaller projects. So just like look at these little animals on here. The bear, the owl, the fox, the, um, the chipmunk, the coffee cups, the pumpkin pies. And then my plan and pumpkins, my plan is to also then use my Cricut to cut out coordinating images that will work. So oh my goodness, look at this cute little coffee cups and cupcakes and all those fall colors. I don't know what it is about fall. Ooh, and this um, sort of um, diagonal plaid. Look at the colors, beautiful. Doodle Bug has a classic look to it. It's, it, they really haven't strayed away from their look. And um, it is such beautiful paper. Perfect for 3D projects, um, paper um, folios. Um, this one's cute for journaling. This would be perfect for in those folio sizes when you need a smaller scale, which I've been crazy for making. And it looks like, is there two sheets of each of this in here? 24 sheets. Plaid, oh my goodness, there's gonna be so, oh my goodness, look how little these are. These are gonna be perfect for cut apart, cut apart, cut apart, um, to cut apart and make some DIY embellishments. I just, it's one of those things, I have this and I've been thinking about it all day after I picked it up yesterday and I'm getting into the hoard mentality that I bought this with the idea I'm gonna buy a brand new paper pad and I'm gonna make things for the month with this paper pad and just give her and just, just go for it and dive in instead of like holding on to it for so long, which I seem to do with all my other paper collections. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it right now when I look at how beautiful this all is. I just like to admire it. And then I always think, oh, my projects don't live up to. So it looks like I've gone full circle. So there's one of um, each sheet double-sided. And then we go through it again. So that's on a smaller scale. Then we have the 12 by 12 paper pack, 
um, which looks like it's probably going to be the 12 sheets that were on there, double-sided. It's just at the 12 by 12 scale. So we'll open it up here and wow-wee. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm so excited that I keep actually knocking the camera today. So it comes with this adorable sticker pack, which is great again for your DIY embellishments. These little sayings are perfect for little sentiments on your package. We have a bear, um, little cloud, these little border stickers. It's funny because I, with the set, the Disney in September challenge that I did, I didn't use a lot of the stickers. So my goal is to use these stickers up because what's the point in holding on to them if they don't go with any paper collection? So then there is the sticker pack. And then we have, <gasps> Look at these cute little coffee cups. And you know what? I believe I purchased this cut file from the Silhouette Design Store. It's different colors, but we can cut it out and make it look like the coffee cup from this collection. And right now, I believe if the Silhouette Design Store has their files on for 50% off. So now would be a good time to pick that up if you don't have it and you plan on creating with this. And look at these little leaves. I don't know, I think because my children are young, um, I just like the cutesy factor of this doodle bug paper collection. Sorry if you hear the giggling and the loud movie noise in the background. My kids are watching Tangled right now. So I thought I'd sneak into the space here and do some videoing and look at these cut up arts these are going to be amazing for folios amazing for folios and look at that beautiful paper <clears throat> perfect for fall now i have to kind of make a plant oh look at these pumpkins these are so cute i don't know they're just so darling with the little faces on there uh and as i said as i look through this paper I am freaking out because I am truly a PHA, which we have, st which stands for Paper Hoarders Anonymous, and just want to hoard this stash for forever until next fall when the next cute paper comes out. And it just, it doesn't make sense, does it? Stripes are really fun for borders and little prints. So just everything coordinates pumpkin pie. That looks like orangey with a little face. Um, and then some more, uh, what do you call these things? Journaling cards. Again, those would be great for my folio. I'm thankful for, oops, I'm thankful for my favorite memory. There's a coffee cup, fall traditions. And here's another polka dot and some owls. Oh, and this, this, this flower Reminds me of another paper collection that I just finished using up in the summer with a six by six paper pad challenge. And here is journaling strips. Now, depending on what's on this side of the paper, I do like this plaid. This is the tricky part when you only buy one paper pack is you have papers and then you have beautiful paper on the other side and can you use it for that? Because usually what I do is cut these and use these for DIY embellishments, but I do really like this plaid. So again, it's gonna take some planning and hopefully I don't get too overwhelmed in addition to also wanting to make, oh, and this one, look at the coffee cups and the donuts, all of these fall themed colors. So you can see with this company, you don't have to actually have fall things to make it look fall. You can take things from your stash and um, use the fall colors and it instantly turns it into fall, fall theme. So that, is impressive. So that was 12 double-sided sheets plus the sticker pad that went in there. So I'll just put that to the side so it doesn't get wrecked. And then this is something I don't normally buy for myself. So this is why it was a huge treat. Um, since probably about maybe the summer of last year, I just was on a decision that I'm going to use my Cricut and my stamps and make DIY embellishments. So this is particularly a real treat. And now in hindsight, I'm glad I purchased this considering that uh, um, Doodlebug was delayed with the release of their stamp set. So this has 164 die cut pieces. So this is going to work with, with other paper collections too, because look at this, like how am I going to use all of these? So we have these cute little trees. Oh, the mouse on the tractor, a 
uh, what do you call it? Uh, little turquoise truck cloud blowing the leaves around. Cute little cupcakes and a sun. Little birds and that in there that didn't come out in the pack. A donut. If it goes this way, donut. A little crow pumpkin patch. This is going to be perfect for those fall pictures. A little uh, hay ride and a leaf and the moose. And I think this little moose looks like the moose from the Winter Wonderland Doodlebug Collection. And I did buy that stamp set as well. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to use that. So the little bear with a scarf. I just recently received a stamp. Set that has that bear leaf and an apple or maybe that's a pumpkin pumpkin spice coffee latte and a mug some honey there's that coffee cup that uh, the coffee cup that we were talking about a mason jar macaroon clouds apples pumpkins apple cider. That's something that my kids and I enjoy doing on um, 1st of September. So, uh, the first day of fall is having hot cider, uh, freshly squeezed apple juice, mushrooms, um, acorns, little um, cookies or cinnamon rolls. Here's another bear enjoying that delicious honey. Oh, and a little hedgehog. So I did get some fall stamp sets that are gonna work with this too. So it really can stretch out your stash. Look at these. So I'm not even sure I'm going to need, oh, this is a cute teacup. I'm not even sure I'm going to need to make a ton of embellishments. I'm gonna take some cardstock and start punching and then start layering these on. Oh there, that's disappointing. Look, that one's got ripped. Heart, butterfly. This stamp, for sure, this is in the this same little guy is in the Winter Woodland um, collection, and I do believe I have that stamp along with the Yeti that I'm going to be able to color with the matching scarf. So I like how they're making their sets interchangeable by including them with other things. And again, it's just the color tone that changes everything. Owls, I love owls. A little greenery and a macaroon. Mason jar, another one, some hay, mouse, another coffee cup. These are just really cute. Acorn, sunflower, little owl on a branch. And these are gonna work with the large paper and the small pattern paper for fall cards. Um, what is this guy? I'm not sure what that is. If you can figure out what that is. Is that a pine cone maybe? You let me know. A little cute little pie. A leaf. Another leaf. So like, look at, it's just, the sky's the limit with this. There's so many different ones to choose from a crow. Lots of coffee cups. And again, I always wanna hoard and hold on to these, but they just look so cute with this paper collection that this is going to be my big push and challenge for myself is not to hoard this stuff this month and just create and make something happen. There's the little moose again and a raccoon and this thing, which I think is a pine cone. These little pedestal coffee cups are adorable. Look at these. I can't get over them. Oops, so two of those, a little fence. Now I'm having coffee beans, more leaves, butterfly and hearts, uh, jam jar, leaf, macaroons, little hearts, clouds, leaves. Uh, I can't forget, I can't think of what these are called. More. These are going to look cute on the, um, oh, I have this cut file, but it's with a red straw. 
but you cut it out and you can make it with a green straw so that they're just this is neat that they're bringing in some of the other things from other collections and just reinventing and making it new maybe some people will say it's not fresh enough doing that but I don't know I just think it's really practical because you could start combining collections especially if you're trying to use up an old stash and you're excited to use a new stash just look how pretty these are and this scarecrow I just love this this is going to be for a special project another fence some corn on the cob and pie and then all these little pieces there so as I said this was hundred and sixty four pieces in this paper pad so this is um, doodlebug pumpkin spice it came out with the doodlebugs fall release and um, I purchased the 6x6 paper pad and the 12 by 12 paper pack and the ephemeral pack as well as the two stamp sets but apparently there's a company delay for those so uh, I'm gonna have to wait for those and I just hope that I get them in time while I'm creating this because here in Canada fall is started and uh, that the beautiful sunny fall days are happening right now and if the stamp set comes later in the month I'm, I'm concerned I might not be quite as inspired to use the stamp set anymore being that fall's almost not the pretty fall that we think of. Anyways, thank you so much for joining me on this episode of Let's Get Crafty. As I said, this month I will be setting some crafty goals using this collection, fall collection as well as the uh, doodlebug, sorry, as well as the Halloween um, stash that I have to create some Halloween projects. So I thank you for watching and please follow me over at Instagram at Scrappy Happy or here on YouTube, like, follow, subscribe, and hit that notify button for when I do post videos. Thank you so much for joining me and have a crafty day. Bye.